Hello everyone, it's Winona the Left-Handed Beater and welcome back. Welcome if you're new. Oops. If you like what you see, please like, subscribe and comment. I've changed my camera setup a bit and I've got my camera right in front of me. So if I talk too loud, I'm sure it's going to be screaming in there. So I have to remember that. Okay, I am going to just kind of go through some beads and, and kind of get myself going here. Um, I, I'm finishing with my bargain bead box, October, A Night in the Woods. But I've also added into that Gina's Autumn Mix. Um, and I'm going to add some stuff from Kath as well. But first I want to go through and decide what beads I'm not, I'm not going to use or I may not use. And these beads here... I want to make my doctor a bracelet with red and gold and these are so beautiful I think that they're going to come out of here so I'm going to put them to the side for now um, I don't think I'm going to use this red either even though it's beautiful I think I'm, I'm tending towards the browns and creams and that um, now might I throw green in there I don't know so what I normally do, and it's probably crazy because um, I'm sure most of you don't do that, is I'm not sure if I'm going to use these, so I'm going to just put them to the side before I um, dump them. I dump everything into my bead mat, my bead tray here. These are gorgeous. And did I grab a scissor? Nope. I'll grab a scissor here. And that's all I do. It, I'll bag them up, what I don't use, I'll bag it up to use later, but I just like to have everything that I may use in front of me, and uh, it's just the way I work. I know a lot of people just um, take a few at a time and that, but I like to have everything in front of me that I may use. It is cold here. What is the temperature today? Siri, what is the temperature outside? It's negative 13 degrees outside. Oh, I guess it's not that cold. Sure feels cold. Minus 13, and that's in Celsius. Feels cold enough to me. I wish I had a better scissor at this desk. I'm just on a jewelry making spree. I love, I love, I love these colors. Okay, that one's done. And then I'll put, I generally put my smaller beads in, in um, this area right here that I'm removing these beads from. And I do that, I don't know why I do that. I just do it. And I'm looking at what I got from Kath and I'm thinking, oh my my, I'm gonna have fun. Okay, I want these smaller ones. And I'm definitely pulling in something from Kath. I went through, um, I have a, a, a box separate for all my stuff that I get from Kath. Some of it I put in, in with my stash, but the bigger stuff I like to keep separate. Okay, well. And this was a wire. Okay, let's put that, that I'm gonna put this one to the side, but I still may use it and these I'll probably use as well, but I'm not ready to, and I should take the orange out because I'm probably not going to use the orange at all, but I want to show you what I might bring in. Okay. I, oh, I got so many nice things from Kath, I can't decide. So I've got these from Kath that I can throw in, but then I've got these gorgeous pearls or perhaps these pearls instead. Oh, they're so pretty. But then I've got this jasper. 
And the Jasper is incredible. Oh. I like the Jasper. I think I'm putting the Jasper in. And then I've got some smaller. This is um, Picture Jasper, 10 millimeter. And this is Woodland Jasper, 14 millimeter. I love them. And do I keep the, the leopard print, do you think? Why not? Okay, let's have fun. Okay, we're going to, we're gonna put these in here. I shouldn't put them all because I'm only gonna use a few. I can probably make 10 necklaces over what I, I, I've put in front of me. And I'll put these off to the side as well. Should get rid of that orange. Because I know I'm not going to use it. Okay, I'm only going to put a few of these down. Because these are pretty big. And I'll put the rest to the side. Oh, I have to tell you. I've put motivational quotes. Oopsie. On all of my, um, my storage containers. And on Kath's it says, Crafting is my superpower. And it is. Oh, this is going to be fun. Let's cut this around here. And put this down here. And I'm going to put the rest to the side. Now, I'm going to use this for sure. And I, I usually design on my second round. And this thing is getting dirty, but it's what happens when you bead. Let's put one of these up here. One of these here. Then what should we do? I love these. Oh, we gotta use some of these. Let's just throw a few. What if we did one on each side of this? This is quickly gonna become Kath's, um, a design from Kath's beads. Oh, I love these, they're so pretty. Oh. Okay, let's move. Let's put that one there and that one there. And then, do I wanna string this or do I wanna, um, do I wanna string or do I wanna just, what do you call it? Make links. I don't know, but I need to bring more of this in. Let's pull some of these in. Oopsie, wrong thing. Oh, this one looks like it's broken. We'll put him to the side. This has become Kath's necklace. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's just what happens. This one's broken too. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Just that alone is gorgeous. But we need to add We need to add these. Um, oopsie. We need to add these down here. Hmm. Do we have an opportunity to add these, or are these too yellow? Let's 
So if I were to put these in here, oopsie. I might be getting the necklace too long already. I just really like this, but I haven't used half the beads. What do I have in here? I have those that I could use. And the green ones. And then the others are different color, I think. So can we, oops, I hit the camera. That's how close the camera is to my head. And we put that there. Put that there, we'll get rid of that. And then if we put another piece of sparkle right here. Right there. And then we did the same on the other side. So we got the lighter yellow. And the darker yellow. And I'm missing something over here. Do I want to put green in here? I don't know why I'm holding that. <laughs> now, I think if I string this, I'm going to put beads in here. In here, I'm going to string some of these smaller beads through the center to fill that up and then string that over top. Hmm. What do you guys think? I sure wish you could talk to me. Should I add these in here? Okay, how long is this getting to be? I don't want it to be too long. I putting that? Okay, I got. So this goes up. This goes there. And then we have another one of those. What do you guys think? Oh, I wish you'd answer me. I really like it, but how long is that going to be? 20, it's going to be over 20 inches long. That shouldn't be too bad. And what beads should I put in here? I'm thinking I probably... Those will fit through. We'll have to decide when we actually start stringing, and I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to string this up like this. Now, what stringing wire should I use? I've got my beetle on here that I used yesterday in the bronze. I think that'll do. And then I'm just going to start putting this on. Pardon my fingers, I'm working on some signs that I want to make um, videos for my other channel of, uh, 
like um, vinyl, put vinyl on, on some signs. So I've got those working at my other desk and I got paint on my fingers. Kind of multitasking. I took my sleeping pills too late last night and I couldn't get up this morning. Where's the hole? Here it is. Isn't this gorgeous? Oh, so my fingers all paint. Ugh. I was talking to my friend and I said I had a kind of a headache today, a dull headache. And I said, it's almost like I feel nauseous at times, almost like a migraine. And I said, but you know what? I think I'm gonna go play with my beads because often that takes that away. And this did. Oh my goodness. And we can still um, make more. Oh man, I gotta make a bracelet though. Look at that. And I must say thank you to Kath for these wonderful beads. These Jasper are beautiful and that cheetah print or leopard print is just amazing too. And it feels good to be playing and not thinking, oh, I have to finish that box. Oh, I got my Jesse James box. I better get it done. Okay, let's see how many of these beads we need. So I think if I string four, and this is a real chunky necklace. This is gonna be a fairly heavy necklace as well. but it's gonna be unique. Now, did I use up anything that I had in a bargain bead box? No. But I can make another thing. I can keep playing with these beads until there's nothing left on my table. And just keep adding different things to it. Oopsie. Yeah, see now, when this sits, it won't, the wire won't sit. Oops, I got the wire through there. The wire won't sit on this part here. It'll it'll sit. The beads will sit through there, and then it won't wear. It won't. Um, what is the word? It won't wear at the at the metal. Wear from the metal there. I think I'm just going to bombard you guys with videos. I think I'm going to just, I'll finish making this and then we'll come and I'll say, let's make another one and let's make the bracelet and away we go. Whoa. I can't see the holes in this big, bigger pieces. I want to use this piece, but I just can't find out where the hole is. Oh, there it is. I actually should be doing some sewing and some cutting. Um, my quilt guild, I have I have two boxes of Christmas prints I bought at a garage sale fabrics. And I have a, a cutting die, I have an AccuQuilt system for cutting. And um, I have a die to kind of make a crazy quilt. And I said to them, you know, why don't we, we're meeting next Saturday and I said, I'll cut this fabric up 
and we can sew it together and make some quilt tops for um, displaced refugees in in our area people that have come from other countries that have had to flee war and such and send, give them some Christmas quilts and I'm just gonna hold this at my neck and see you know it can be a bit longer even isn't that nice you shouldn't toot your own horn but I'm gosh damn pleased with this but I don't really know if I want to waste good beads to go around my neck let's look at this again I'm gonna try it on again yeah I just want it a lot a little bit longer so maybe what I'll do is maybe I'll add what do I want to add I don't want to add the cubes because they're too beautiful maybe I'll just add these because these are the same color as as there let's put let's put five on here three Nobody's going to see these around my neck because your hair will cover them. Okay, and then I'll cut this side. Probably don't need near that much, but... That's not long enough. I need more just for even just to look at. I think seven will be a better number. Seven. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Seven and bead bug and I'll just quickly put this around my neck and see where I'm at whoa yep that's perfect 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 so I need to get some crimp beads out and I don't have any antique brass crimp beads so I use these and then I use crimp covers which I hate using but that's what I use okay so we'll do the first one and then I'm going to do a bracelet I'm going to do I'm oh what kind of earrings am I going to do I really like the thought of having these three of these as, a, as an earring, but we'll see. So I'll just put that on. The first side is always easy because it's easy to separate them. And to pull your tail. They always want to cross. There we go. And I should have my crimp crimping pliers here. And I'll just leave about that much. And then I I like to have it so that the the divot is facing down and the part that goes into the divot is is on top I don't know I just seems like I rest the the crimp tube in there in the divot and then I can just crimp 
and then often the first hole, well now it's going to be okay, often the first area to, to turn it into its taco is too big, but that worked fine. And then I cut it off. I try, sometimes, I guess it kind of depends on my day, sometimes I try to weave it through a few more, oh I don't have my little jar out, weave it through a few more beads, but I don't think that makes much of a difference on a necklace. If it's going to fall apart, it's going to fall apart, especially something this heavy. Um, having a, a tail isn't going to make much difference. On a bracelet it might, but not on a necklace. How do you get these apart now? Oh, there we go. And then I just put this on and just give a gentle squeeze. It kind of wants to go kind of out, so you have to kind of um, try to make it round as best you can. This I find, I got this from Kath, and on some of these smaller crimper, crimping, crimp covers, this works really good. I don't know what it is really for, but I find I use it quite a bit for this. And just spend a little time and get that looking nice. Often it looks like a Pac-Man mouth. Oh. I can see that there. Oops, I'm starting to misshape it. I think I should have left it be. Okay, and now we'll do the other side. And when you do the other side, you want to um, make sure all your beads are down at the other end. So they're nice and tight there. And I should have, well, that might be enough, I'm not sure. I should have left more on the end and then I could use it as a bracelet wire. But it is what it is. We'll see how much I have left when I'm done. Oops, sorry. Okay, and then I'll put it in here again. That's going to be, well, might be a little tight. And where did that crimp cover go? Now I'm just going to play with this, what I have here, until I get tired of these colors and want to move on. Mind you, Dee Dee's box might be coming in the mail here soon. And then I might want to change my mind. But it's a woman's prerogative. We can change our minds. I'm not a fan of crimp covers, but I don't I don't know even if you can buy um, crimp beads in this color. Oops. Now Gina gave us some um, toggle clasps, so we'll use the, one of those. And I have my oval jump rings here, so we'll use two of those. And I need another pair of pliers.
And I have quite the mess around me right now. And what I'll do is I'm going to take out a couple of the things of, out of this box. I'm going to take out, um, I think, the beads before I do another necklace. I'm going to take out my Jasper and my cheetah ones that I got from Kath. And I'll just add some different ones and see what we get then. Oops, this end was a little bit longer, my, my loop. Okay, so let's hold this here and pull some stuff away. I'll put this underneath my desk. And you can see, oh my goodness, that's beautiful. The necklace that I made with um, Gina's. It was supposed to be a bargain bead box, but it ended up being with Gina's and Kath. Beads from both of them. And I see my camera has moved. Let's put you back where you're supposed to be. I wonder when that happened. Anyway, that's it for this video. I wish you lots of luck, love, and happiness until we meet again. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.